Today we are listening to an EP that has been highly requested. All I have to say real quick before we get started is that this EP better be the best EP I have ever listened to, you guys, because the amount of times I've seen you guys like fighting writing for Bridget, I'm like, damn, there must be something here. I can't even say that because I know there's something there, ready or not. Um, a bop. When I worked in retail, she would always play, but she was one of those songs where if she did play, I was like, yes, finally, like I can bop to a song and not want to D word, you know? So this EP is only four songs. It's 15 minutes, so it's really not that long at all. I'm excited to see what the hype is all about. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh God, I thought my speaker was broken. <laughs> of you were just waiting for me to hear that how many of you guys were like this bitch she's gonna lose her mind like how many of you knew because how many of you knew and then didn't warn me give me any indication of what i was getting into thanks fuck me got it because the last time i heard her sound it was not like this at all we love an evolution we love a grown and mature sound so even though, like, this was released a long time ago. 2016. Like, she doesn't have really anything else, right? This is what you guys want. And for some reason, I always give you what you want. What is this? Like, this is the first song. So what is the rest going to sound like? Wait, let me look at these lyrics real quick. Because they're so... I don't even know. I'm so like, I'm genuinely mind blown. I don't. Mm-hmm. The sleep with the fishes down in Atlantis. So it's a feeling that's so suppressed that is so far down and away and not present. It might as well be in Atlantis, you know, the lost city, the lost feeling. How did we end up like this fast asleep with the fishes down in Atlantis? I will say like, I do love a little synth moment, but there are some parts that it's a little over a little overwhelming because i'm like girl what are you saying what <laughs> like i can't hear you a full feature wow y'all know how i feel about features right i didn't mind it at all i thought it was actually really nice what the hell am i getting into okay the vocals in the distance we gonna bring them to the forefront? We've been known too. I don't even think I mentioned her voice yet. She has such a good voice. There we go. This is so, what is this? I was not expecting this sound at all. I am so thrown off. This is pulling from somebody. I just can't point my finger to it. It reminds me a bit of Miss Morissette. So are we getting into a story here? Because the first song it was, what I know love is there, but I just haven't felt that bitch yet. Highly relatable. But then the second one, we're, we're trying to meet up with somebody. So what direction is this going? In. Do you miss me at all is the next one. I'm genuinely so thrown off right now. Like am I even here? Am I filming? Are we are we live? Are we on? I'm I Ready or not here I come she was not lying Bitch. What is this? experimental pop moment. I have not heard sounds like this in so long and the fact that it's from 2006. Let's talk about this being ahead of its time like high key. High key. Right? We're all on that train and I'm just late. Shocker. I listen to so much music on this channel, right? Like we talk, we bop, whatever. A lot of the times though, you know, with whatever sound is popular or whatever the trend is, everything kind of starts to blend together. It starts to all sound the same. This is something that completely stands on its own. And I think that's why I'm so like, I can't even wrap my head around it because it's so different. It's so interesting. I feel like if I, you know, after I film and I go back and listen while I edit or just on my own time, I'm gonna find 
new things to like about it. I, I really have no words. And I mean that in the best way possible, too. Like, I just genuinely am just like, what the fuck am I listening to? Don't know who you're spending all your time with. You so think of me too. And I don't know if When I snap my fingers, whip your head around, boy. When I snap my fingers, whip, whip, whip back to me. Rude boy, what you out in the town for with a girl? If you want more, set her down. Or or you'll pick her up when I'm gone because I'm done. Bitch, let's fucking leave his ass. We don't need him. You're kidding. This production. Please bring it back. We love a bridge. whole chorus like explode I would have been done like out for the count goodbye and now we're done like why did you guys make me do this that was so mean like what am I supposed to do now I mean I guess we're all in the same boat now together huh <laughs> I can see why a lot of you guys wanted me to listen to it it's so different it's so experimental I think it's definitely one that I need to listen to more before I give like a full opinion on it just because I feel like it'd be a disservice to just give like a thought right now and just call it a day. I am curious though to see what her sound would be like today, because again, this came out in 2016, I believe. How has she evolved? How has she grown? You can definitely hear there are a lot of like old time influences in her music, but still trying to make it modern, still trying to make it fun. I don't know. She's really interesting to me. And I think that's why I want more. Anyway, with all that being said, this is my current ranking so far of my favorite, maybe to the one that I need to listen to a little bit more to fully like it. What's your ranking? What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video since it was so highly requested. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Go check out my other channel for different type of content for me besides reactions. If you want to support your girl, merch in the description box below. I love you. Take care of yourself. And we'll see you in the next one.